Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're talking about iOS 11 Beta 6 and Public Beta 5, which were released to developers and public beta testers earlier today at the time of recording this video. And even at Beta 6, there are so many changes happening, so let's go ahead and jump in. So first up, the icon changes continue to happen. On the home screen, we have some new icons once again. In the original iOS 11 Beta, we saw only new icons for, I believe, App Store and iTunes Store. Well, the App Store icon has been tweaked again to look a little bit crazier than before. Somebody on Twitter referenced it is three sticks pushed together. I'm not a design critic, so I cannot judge this. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comment section, but yeah, I mean, three sticks kind of makes sense for this one. Also, we got a updated clock icon with some bolder numbers. No huge change there whatsoever, but the numbers on the clock icon are a little bit bolder. And next to that is Maps. Maps also got a refreshed look on the home screen, and I think it looks incredibly sharp. At this point, Apple has updated almost every icon on the home screen, also in iOS 11 Beta 6. The Reminders icon, which was flipped for right-to-left languages, has been corrected if you use a left-to-right language, like English or German. At this point, so many icons on the home screen have changed, so many look really different, but some have also gotten some very subtle changes, like Mail, Camera was a pretty subtle change, Stocks is just slightly different, but at this point, pretty much everything has changed in some way, even if it is small. So I really like to see that. I was hoping for some icon redesigns back with iOS 11 Beta 1, and even though it took some time for them to get implemented, I think the design choice choices here are really great. Next up, if you have a pair of AirPods and you open them up next to your device, you're going to get this really slick looking animation. And I'm starting to notice that in iOS 11, Apple is paying attention to a lot of small changes, which is something I think they totally missed with that huge design refresh back with iOS 7. This looks incredible, and even though it's small, a lot of these tiny changes are going to add up after a while. New icons, new AirPods animation, a small change to the music widget in iOS 11 Beta 5. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far because usually we're not seeing that many design changes happen in beta 5 and beta 6, but Apple continues to impress me every week, and I think iOS 11 is in a really good spot right now. Inside of the settings app in iOS 11 beta 6, we also saw a couple of changes that are pretty major. So under display and brightness, auto brightness has been removed from the section and moved to accessibility's preference panel. So to find auto brightness now, you have to go to general, accessibility, display accommodations, and right here you see auto brightness. Now it says that turning this off may affect battery life. I'm not sure if that's in a good or bad way. I assume it would be in a negative manner, but it's interesting that they removed this from the normal display panel into accessibility. I think this is a really major feature and people who might want to enable or disable this are really only gonna be able to find this if they're snooping around in the settings app or if they search for it, because I certainly would not know why that just disappeared. So it seems like a weird change with not a lot of meaning behind it, but it has moved in beta six. And under wallpaper, I wish I had some good news to share with you, like we saw some new wallpapers or a ton were added, but that is not the case. In fact, it is exactly the opposite. Under live wallpapers, Apple has completely removed all of the fish live wallpapers that were introduced back with the iPhone 6s in 2015. Now, it's really weird to see this happen because I feel like everybody, including myself, wants to see more wallpapers added rather than some wallpapers removed. So I'm hoping that Apple is simply clearing space for wallpapers for the iPhone 7s or for the iPhone 8 or even just new wallpapers for everyone in iOS 11. Of course, if new wallpapers are added, you'll be the first to know if you follow me on Twitter at iVDataOS because I share a lot of the tidbits that happen in iOS 11 betas there first before I have time to sit down and make a video here on YouTube. So if you're interested in seeing news first, definitely make sure to follow me there. Moving on to some more changes in iOS 11 beta 6. If you tap on this output slash AirPlay icon right here to view your output sources like AirPods, headphones, Apple TV, or your own iPhone. Under AirPods, it previously just listed the battery percentage for the AirPods themselves, like the two individual earbuds, but in iOS 11 beta 6, it also shows you a really handy percentage that might even be more important of how much charge the case has to recharge the individual earbuds, which is super valuable. Another pretty big change in iOS 11 beta 6 comes when you're unlocking your device. You'll notice that the icons fly in, and I'm not sure if it's really faster or if it just feels faster at this point because I've only been using this for a couple of hours at the time of recording this, but even if you lock your phone when you're using an app, Getting into that feels a lot quicker. The cover sheet slash lock screen flies up really quickly, or if you're on the home screen, the icons come in really fast. So while I don't know if it's totally faster, it definitely looks and feels that way. One last change in iOS 11 beta 6 that I wanna highlight is that if you use an iPhone 7 Plus with a dual camera setup, when you launch up the Photos app for the first time, you've got this launch screen right here. This is from a user on Reddit, just cause I don't own an iPhone 7 Plus, but it highlights the ability to use depth effect information. So it says using portrait camera or other apps, you can create 
create photos and videos that include depth information, which will be handy if you have an iPhone 7 Plus and want to include that information. Anyway, guys, as of right now, those are the latest changes in iOS 11 Beta 6. If you enjoyed watching this video, it would really help me out if you hit that like button down below. And of course, hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you in the next one.